Check out this video. It already has 1.3 million views in just a few days. It's a dash cam video from a guy named Ivan Tukton. Uh, he took it driving up the Newark Bay extension uh, on the turnpike towards the Holland Tunnel at around midnight Sunday. It shows him driving, doing a good rate of speed, maybe 50 yeah. or 60 miles an hour, when all of a sudden out of nowhere, there's two orange cones blocking both lanes. He slowed his car down to a stop and he noticed that there was a car parked on, in the shoulder on the side of the road. There's two men involved. One of the men was not in the car. He, you can see him right here in a pair of jeans and a black jacket. He starts to slowly approach the car. Now, Ivan uh, starts driving a little towards him and the, the man walks a little closer. Ivan asks him. What's going on? He also asks him if he can help him with something. Can I help you with something? He then reached into his pocket, the man, yeah. which prompted Ivan to drive straight off. As I was approaching them, I stopped. I was like, what the f going on? Um, because <laughs> really that's what comes to mind. You're like, what? what? This is ridiculous. Now we've seen this happen a lot with uh, mm. carjackings and things of that nature to kind of fake a roadblock. So I reached out to the state police. What they said is that the two men were intoxicated and they had run out of gas and parked on the side of the road. Uh, it seems like a very mm. suspicious way to ask for help considering the man didn't wave his hand. He wasn't saying anything. He just walked up to the car really slowly. People have cell phones call a friend, I don't know. It was a, if they wanted to get gas, this was one hell of a way to try to do it. They arrested him for driving under an influence and the passenger who was walking up to the car was arrested for a previous warrant. Oh, I, wow. yes. I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, they might have also have charged him with the illegal roadblock. I mean, you right. can't actually right. put right. cones out like come that yeah. and stop That's traffic. That's right a really, now. really good way to, I don't know, to have someone respond in a wild way. We have a friend who was almost carjacked here in Trenton in a similar situation. Right. I'm surprised he stopped for as long as he did. That's right. Right. One of our editors had that situation. So it's a very serious, serious thing. I, you know, does anybody believe that story I about do. running out of gas? I do. I do because I do. Really? The, first thing, the first thing these state yeah. troopers would have done yeah. if they approached these guys was frisk them. Search them if they yeah. were allowed to or they had probable cause. Search the car. They weren't arrested on gun charges. Right. These guys weren't armed. Well, you don't need a gun to carjack somebody. Of course not, but it becomes, if, if their easily. story becomes more credible if they're not armed. Well, it also becomes more credible and when you drunk. remember that drunk. the troopers said they were they're they drunk. I find their story to have zero Me credibility. They're, they're drunk. So who drives around with two traffic cones in your well, car? They, Phil, they were drunk. Yeah, <laughs> they're drunk, but they can think of an elaborate robbery. If there's legitimate construction, if there's a reason for the road to be blocked, there'll be a police officer there. So don't stop for They're looking into charging them for unlawful. Good. Uh, they stopping. should. Yeah. What's going on?